Hello and welcome to a quick introduction to Mastercam for SolidWorks. This is part one. Be sure to watch part two. In this video, I'm going to be talking briefly about the Mastercam for SolidWorks 2D, which was recently released. Um, due to limit space limitations on YouTube, we are limited to 10 minutes, so we split this video into two sections. So be sure to tune in for part two. I'm Dave Matuzic. I'm the trainer here at MacDeck Engineering, and the sales team asked me to make this video so we could show you what's new and exciting with Mastercam for SolidWorks. Let's go down here to our Mastercam for SolidWorks. It runs, as you can see, inside of SolidWorks, and running as an add-in and giving me this Mastercam menu. And here you can see a basic SolidWorks part that I created. Let's start off by setting up a plane to machine with. If you've run Mastercam in the past, this will seem quick and intuitive to you. I'm going to come here and just make my plane based off the geometry. I'll rename it. And I'll put a new origin in. I want to pick my part up off of this corner, but at a different Z level. And you'll see now that the master cam nomen has moved to that position. Now let's set up our tool and our stock here. So I'll go to my tool settings. I like to assign my tool number sequentially. And I'll just click bounding box to make stock. Just giving us a piece of stock for when we verify later. Now I'll go to my drill tool paths and do some feature based drilling. I'll tell it to detect, detect the holes in my part pickup plane and to only use library tools. I'll click our detect hole feature button here and you'll see that it picks these holes based on the hole wizard data. So it knows that those are 3816 tapped holes. Give it the name of our NC file here. and it created my drilling operations. Now, why don't we machine this? I'm going to use the 2D high speed tool pass to do this. And I'll come here and you can see that I can select the loop to get one chain. And I'll just come in and select that edge as my second chain. I'll then click on dynamic mill I'll use perhaps a one inch end mill to do this. Leave some stock on the walls for finish shop. And there, is my dynamic milling operation. I can also do standard contours and pockets. For example, I can come here click this face, automatically selects that as my chain, and I can do a pocket operation. As you can see right here. Now to save time, I have this part already programmed, and I'll show you one of my favorite features about Mastercam for SolidWorks. It's the ability to change my model and update my tool paths as I move along. So here's my part fully programmed. And I can come here and I'll verify this very quickly for you. I'll just turn on my change tool color so you can see what's going on a little bit easier. I have my drilling operations. my dynamic milling, a contour, a pocket, that's a pocket at a different depth, a slot over here on the left, and finished this outer shape here. Let's make a quick change to this model. Let's say, as an engineering change, the fillets inside this pocket, for whatever reason, are no longer 250 fillets, perhaps they're 281. When I update that, I will get a warning telling me that at least one Mastercam operation has been marked dirty. 
Now, you can see here it has dirtied my operations. Let's make a few other changes before we go any further and regenerate this. Let's say that this pocket is no longer this deep. As you can see, this pocket is deeper than that pocket. Perhaps I want them to be the same depth. So I'll go here and I'll edit this feature and instead of 187 deep, I'll make it 125 deep. Again, that dirties my operation. I'll come over to my master cam and regenerate my operations. And now, I'll simply save my file and you'll see I will have updated operations.